Well, hello everybody, my name is Denver and today we're checking out Startup Company. If you like Game Dev Tycoon and you like Kairosoft's Game Dev Story, you will absolutely love this. So I decided to take a little break from the farm, move on into the city and see if I can start my own software company. This game's super in-depth. It's a little challenging at times. If you like a challenge and you like management, you like simulation games, you are in the absolute right place. Can you hear the music? It definitely sounds like Sims music. Super peaceful, super relaxing game. You've got to kind of somewhat be on your toes, but luckily you can pause a lot. So that's a good thing. So let's go ahead and get started. We have no money. Uh, it's day one, 8 a.m. We, we've got a couple emails. We'll check that in a second. But the first thing we have to do do is get some money. We got to take a loan. $40,000 is what we get at a 30% interest rate. My goodness, every day we're going to be paying $128, but that's the only thing you can do. So this is how we start the game. This In this tutorial slash let's play, we're going to learn a lot about it, and there's still a couple things that I need to learn, but when I first started playing the game, um, I couldn't put it down. I meant to spend like 20 or 30 minutes just testing and ended up spending about four hours, and then it was 1 a.m. and I was exhausted. So I actually had to force myself to stop. So you're going to absolutely love this game. It's not even out yet, but it will be very, very, very soon. So let's go ahead and get a beginner workstation. There we go. It's going to be an early access soon, and it's going to cost, I believe, $10. Okay, so we need to hire some employees. And what employees can we hire? Well, if we all these tabs, they, they uh, help you manage your company. Again, this is our own startup company. We are the managers. It's, an, it's, a, it's a simulation. We've got some competition right here. As you can see, we get we read it is our competition. The tube friend book. How are we ever going to take down friend book? You'll see. Let's start with hiring our first employee. Let's go to the, the recruitment tab and you get the choice. Do you want a sales executive or do you want a developer? And in this case, I think I'm going to go with the developer first because last time I did the sales executive and then I had to kind of wait around for a developer. I don't want to do that, but you can experiment different ways when you try it. We can do a beginner an expert, or excuse me, an intermediate or an expert, but we don't, we're only at tier one right now. And this is the level, basically the level of our company. Uh, so I want to just do a one day kind of course for $1,760. I could do three days. I could do seven days. Let's just do one day. I don't think there's a, a, better option to that but if you want better candidates then that's the better option now i can just close this or i can start just letting it cycle through wow we already got our first candidate and he's actually not bad this is jordan gray uh a redhead apparently he likes the color olive green 118 percent is the speed this is how much money he gets paid i think every month or something like that i don't know yeah I, I i don't know the time frame but you know obviously the more money the more you're gonna pay him and then this is nothing you need to worry about at the beginning let's wait for a few more candidates to come in if you look at the top of the screen kind of like sims my fingers always stay on one two and three so if i hit one it pauses it two is play and three is like a super fast forward let's check our emails real quick while we hit two so Jonas is the developer of this game. He hooked, he hooked me up with uh, this game and a couple of extra copies. So we're going to do another giveaway. I'll tell you towards the end of the video what I want you guys to do. May, you know what? May, it's probably just going to be something. Just just like, subscribe, leave a comment. Nothing special this time. But I do like to give a lot of games out. And Jonas was totally cool with that. This is saying there's uh, the amount of tips and hints are greatly reduced. So he's saying here's a couple things to get you figured out. But that's why I'm here. So I'll show you guys what to do. Also, Jonas has an email like later on in the game. Super cool. I mean, he, he just seems like a great, great person. And he puts so much time and effort into this game. Give it, give it, give it a look. See, $10, $10 I mean, that's that's really nothing. So if you can afford 10 bucks and you like this kind of game, you I mean you're you're gonna be glued to it like I am. Uh this we gotta congrats for a new loan. Get the heck out of here. We don't want to congratulations for a new loan. It's getting darker because the time is going. Now we've got a, we've got one more candidate that came in. Ooh, whoa, way more expensive. But 10% more speed. Interesting. Let's just go ahead and wait till the next day. We didn't hire a candidate on the first day, so therefore we can't skip. Normally, there's like a blue skip to the next day button. Instead, you just kind of have to fast forward. Again, this is going to be an alpha access soon. So all of these little bugs and stuff and, and, well, just quality of life changes, they'll come. We got another applicant. So I guess while we're sitting here staring at our very dark office, we can check our new applicants. Yikes. Their speeds are really, really low. Gilbert is at 97% 
99%. Teresa is at 99%. But Gilbert is really, really cheap. Hopefully we can get one. I was going to say, there we go. One more candidate. Ooh, we found a winner. Amy Reeves is, and by the way, I'm pausing it. If you notice, I, these are these will constantly be switching. Normally, pause and three, pause and three. So one and three, one and three. I'm um, Amy Reeves is 133% speed, and she's under 6,000. I don't have a ton of money to start out with, but to me, the the higher the percentage, the lower this money is. I, I I have to buy it. So let's get our developer started. So we put Amy right here, and she now we can jump to the start of the day because she doesn't actually start until nine, and she works till seventeen hundred hours, which is five p.m. Basically, she will get exhausted more and more each day, and that's why these are here. You can send her on a vacation, you can remove her from her desk, or you can just fire her all together if you feel like doing that. This is her mood. It starts at hundred percent. It'll go down. Her speed, she's getting a 1% office bonus because of the desk is giving a 1% bonus. So that's it. And there's other things that we can put down, and I'll show you that as we get to it. Now, these are the things that our developer, this is her job. These are the things she can do. You can see that these say locked. That's because we'll need higher level employees for that. All of these first five things, they're all in order of the time it takes to complete them, and they are all important. For now, we'll just start with the UI component. It costs $1,000 to research each of these, but then you never have to do it again. Now, we'll just tell Amy, start on that, and it's sitting at 0% because our game's paused. Also, we can't auto-repeat yet. We'll need a manager later for that. So we'll get there, and until then, we'll get to the. We'll just jump to the start of the day, and now Amy has arrived at work and I could press three or just two if I wanted to go just a hair slower but if I press three she'll fly up until now she's done notice that I hit pause as soon as she was done because I don't want to lose any time I could let the day go and and just click this as quick as I could but why not just pause so I click it again and you do a lot of that at the beginning and I know it seems it seems like it might be kind of tedious it isn't. I mean, you just, it's its as simple as just clicking and, and choosing what you think you need. So we're going to have two of these and they go so quick. I'm just going to go ahead and research the back end component. Once this is done and we have two of these, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, uh, research, excuse me. Yeah. Make a back end component. And I'm going to have Amy do that, right? Amy Reeves. Yes. So let's hire if you're wondering what the heck we're going to do with these, this is this is where these come in. So we need a sales executive and sales executives basically find contracts for us. Again, I don't have a ton of money. I'm just going to do a beginner one day. If I want to do three days, it jumps the price. I mean, quite a bit. Like if I don't like if I don't like this at the end of one day, I just I'll just start it over again. So hopefully we can find a good uh, what are they called? The, the sales executive I think is what they were called we need a good oh yeah there it is right there in front of my face we need a good one so I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward we've got one applicant I, I don't I rarely take the first applicant just because you need something to compare it to even though this seems like a heck of a deal 123 percent speed for four and a half thousand that's actually a really good deal we got Alvin in now too let's see and these ones will run out if this one's got four hours left before Marguerite is gone forever in my application system so we got Alvin let's Okay, and I want to make sure that I'm that Amy is doing uh, something at all times. So Amy's done with that. So let's get her working on the back end component. Get back into candidates. It's 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 a management game. You're gonna have to stay on top of things. 123 percent for four and a half thousand, or 126 percent for five and a half thousand. A thousand difference for three percent speed. Let's just go ahead and go with Addy. Now you're going Denver. You don't have a place for her to work. No problem. We we'll just buy her, buy her a new desk. And you know what? Maybe I'll. Maybe I'll put her, let's see, one, two, I'll put her over here, three, four. Yeah, let's put her over here and I'll, I'll leave my developers here because I'm probably going to get another developer soon. Here's Addie and we'll put her at her desk and these are the things she can do. She can't do any of these yet until I upgrade and all of your, so she's a beginner, but I can upgrade her to an intermediate and eventually over a long time, I can upgrade her to uh, what was I, maybe advanced or uh, I can't remember the exact terminology that Jonas used when he created this game. But what she can do, what I all I want her to do right now is search for contracts. So here we go. I'm just kind of watching them, may, wondering when they're going to be done about the same time, just about. So uh, Addie, our new employee, she is done finding a good contract. Let's just respond. Let's check it out. So we have it's a low urgency contract. Contract and definitely pay attention to these because low urgency usually means low money. 
and it's $120 an hour, and we have 52 hours to complete this job. That's so much time and really, really easy. There's a couple of other stats that we can worry about here, but we won't worry about that. I mean, this is $960. It's not the best per hour, but we are a startup company. We'll take any kind of easy job that we can really quickly to get some money because we're down to 28,251 and that actually won't even last that long. Good. So she just finished the back end component. You can see that we needed one. We have one. Now we need this, this database component or database, however you call it. In my classroom, uh, it, with my students, we always called it data data because we couldn't decide what to do. While Addie is managing the contract. She doesn't do anything at all. Um, and they both left work for the day. So let's go ahead and skip, skip, excuse me, to day three. Whoa, we've got a ton more uh, candidates. What the heck is going on? How many candidates? <laughs> I've never seen so many candidates. We might even get a better employee. No, most of these aren't even above 100%. Cool. Addie was absolutely the best company. Oh, my time is running. While I was talking, now it's already noon. Yikes. So this, this has plenty of time left, 31 hours. But look, we're done. We can cancel it, lose some money. But we got all the components we need. So let's go ahead and deliver and get our $960. No fee. We got some experience earned and keep searching for a contract. I don't have any of these things. So I don't know if I'm going to need these for the next contract, but you just don't ever want your employees to be doing nothing. Here's what we're going to do. Let's put a desk down and I'm going to get another developer and I'm just trying to stay ahead of the game. Having two developers is really, really nice. Uh, not just because they can both be creating things uh, at the same time, but because of this mood. Amy's already down to 91%, and that's going to go down several points. And look, it's 7% every single day. So even after just a handful of days, should be down to 50% soon. And once you get below 50%, what you start seeing, let me see if I have new candidates for developer. Not yet, but we'll get some soon. It'll say on the left side of the screen. But once you get down low, they might actually just completely leave your company. So we want to make sure that that absolutely doesn't happen. Hey, we got lucky by making the back end components. Notice we only need two. This is medium urgency. So meaning we only have a, sh uh, well, we have a medium amount of time. There's also a high urgency, which you have a very short amount of time, but they pay a ton of money. Look at this. We can make $200 an hour, $1,600 for this one single contract just for two of those. So hopefully we can find a good developer today. And we can, now the day's almost over. Let's have let's have Amy be making another back end component because we're going to need one. But she's going to go home in about 30 minutes. And that's how quickly 30 minutes goes. There she goes. She goes home. Jump to the start of the day. Cool. We got some new candidates in and all the sales executive candidates are about to expire. Let me just get rid of them because we won't need them. Wow. Georgie Swanson. 146 speed, but seven thousand you know what it's the start of the day the i can't that is really good that's a really high speed and you want them to be flying through these things so actually i'm gonna go ahead and research i just have a suspicion that we're gonna need a network component pretty soon just because i know the game you'll figure this stuff out too as you go just for now though we only need we only need one more of these and uh who is this amy is already halfway through making it so let's go ahead and get kind of a storage like a, a stock of parts okay so amy finished our back-end components and now we can turn this in we get one thousand six hundred dollars wow hey and we hit level two basically i mean i call it level two it's tier two yes it is technically a level but we'll use the game terminology new employee types unlocked designers designers produce graphical components for building products or yeah building products there we go and we also got some new items now here's the thing with items they give you bonuses to speed so if i pay five hundred dollars and i place this somewhere the entire staff gets 0.5 percent office bonus right here one thousand five hundred dollars will give me 1.5 percent office bonus that's not bad again it's like three of these i mean these are both equal but look at this five hundred dollars three percent that yes that is coffee you saw that correctly that is coffee let's have her search for a contract and i don't want to hit play yet because i want to make sure that we maximize our speed here so let's go ahead and buy our coffee pot uh let's uh yeah we'll just put it over here have a, a kind of a break room area do we want to get a couch we have pretty good money i just don't want to run out you know what i think a plant maybe whoa plants are 0.5 percent for just a hundred dollars that's pretty good let's get a couch too yeah we'll have like kind of a break oh we got a little graphical glitch over here here let me let me try it this way 
uh, early access, alpha, yes, you will find those things. But overall, this is a re- see. This one actually works correctly. There's something with the coffee pot where it likes to uh, underlap certain items. But now we have a couch. We have a coffee pot. Let's go ahead and put a plant down too. Now, I mean, it just looks nice. Hey, actually, that that worked. Um, it, it looks nice, doesn't it? It totally reminds me of The Sims. But you actually get to well, the new Sims. You could you could follow them to their job and work. Or I think that was an expansion. But either way, I'm seriously, I'm in love with this game guys uh searching for a new contract i'm okay with making a back-end component again i don't want to waste any time any other good developers i was gonna say we could totally hire a third developer i'd say yeah it's a lot of money but we we could if we wanted to let's find out what our new contract brings high urgency 24 hours left so we have to be really quick i knew it did i not call that a network component we need we have one we need one these take a little while to make the back end components not so much we already i think we already have someone on the back end components but look at this $3300 that's $330 an hour and 10 expected hours high urgency contracts are what you want they are incredible so let's finish this back end component and that's it that's the easiest 3300 i probably have ever made in this game deliver now that's it search for a new contract and while she's searching for a new contract let's go ahead mm, I'm, I'm, since we don't have a, a back-end component we'll go ahead and make a back-end component and we've got uh georgie still making this network component i might just have her make another one too if you guys aren't wondering, no, they cannot actually use the coffee pot. These are kind of more so for looks. Just to, They basically just sit at their desk. Maybe someday they'll get up and you could tell them, kind of like you can tell them to go on vacation. Maybe someday you can tell them, get up, go get some coffee, and maybe they come back in a much better mood. But for now, it's just for a speed bonus. They're all done. They all left for the day. So let's go ahead and jump to the start of the day. Uh, we've just finished that one. I think I want to research the database the data data components and we'll find out what our new contract brings there it is i quickly pause medium urgency almost three thousand dollars and all oh oh this will be tricky here's what i'm trying to figure out this is from a designer we don't have a designer yet. If I was paying very close attention and was ahead of the game, we could have got a designer in time and had the applicants coming in overnight. But now we risk not getting a designer. We risk running out of time up here and actually having to pay a fine and getting a lot less than what we would. This will be no problem. We've already got these. We just need that. So let's go ahead and accept it. Let's just, let's just, I mean, there's going to be some challenges in this game. So the first thing we want to do is quickly, quickly, hire a designer um we can't, i don't want to go three days i just need somebody soon so let's go come on cam get me a good designer hey whoa <laughs> almost immediately we had uh it's kind of low but i might have to just take myrtle tate <laughs> we'll see if anybody else rolls in over the next couple hours if i don't get anybody else by a uh, let's select the database component. Oh, they're both making database components. Oh, well, we'll make another network component. Uh, component, not opponent. By t uh, let's, say, let's say by 12 o'clock. I'm going I'm to need somebody by 12 o'clock. Nobody. Can we go 1 o'clock? Can we just give it a little more time? Oh, man. I was even going to give it more time, but you know what? We're just going to have to hire uh, Myrtle. So I don't know if Myrtle's going to be. It's uh, She's under 4,000. 105% isn't terrible. But it costs 3000 for a desk. Let's go ahead and put her right here. Here you go, Myrtle. We've just got an all-female cast here. And there's nothing wrong with that. Equality in the workplace. Amen? Anyways, moving on from uh, from current event issues. Okay, we've get, we, we, you just want to make sure that nobody is idling. So our contract says we just need one of these blueprints. And it is almost done. There we go. We're all done. Deliver it now. So... Oh, whoa, we just leveled up. We got to tier three and I totally just skipped out on everything. So we've got a couple new items to purchase. Let's see what they are. Ooh, we've got a nice a nice red bench. I think that was the only thing. Maybe these? Did we unlock the glass walls? Those look pretty cool. And then that's about it. And then we also, we can make our employees a lot happier. So let's look at our employees here. Uh, benefits, here we go. Small retirement plan. Every employee gets a 5% speed bonus. It's $600 a month. You know what? It's worth it to me. The faster they can work sure let's give them a retirement plan and as we level up we'll get them free beverages gym memberships things like that this is our our, our company tab does it show oh, there we go the show unlocks oh so we unlocked a manager the manager 
puts these guys on auto repeat. So if I want this, if I want Georgie Swanson to only make network components, I can hire a manager, put this on auto repeat and just have her constantly make those so that I don't have to click. So there's an automation effect similar to like, it reminds me of Factorio, that system. So once you automate it, you don't have to just pause, click, pause, click, pause, click. I still enjoy it. I'm going to play this game and play this game and play this game. That is the end, guys. For the giveaway, just 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 say something to me in the comments. I don't know. Tell me tell me something about you. I love getting to know you guys. I love learning about your favorite games and things like that from the World's Dawn video. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you like this game, like it. Subscribe. Tell me in the comments you want to see more. If I don't hear it from you guys that you want to see more, I won't do more. If, if, if there's plenty of you guys that want to see more of this amazing game, let me know, okay? Just let me know. Anyways, giveaway. Put some stuff in the comments. Um, I'll tell you, I'll, t I'll type up my own comment and tell you how we're going to pull a winner and who, because I don't know if there's going to be an episode two. I want there to be an episode two. I just don't know if there will be. So um, if you want to see an episode two, go ahead and tell me. If you want to join the giveaway, just, just leave a comment. I'll scroll through the comments. We'll pick a random comment and we'll get you uh, actually, there's two copies of this game. Jonas hooked us up, guys. Jonas hooked us up. So if you want to say thank you to Jonas in the comments, I'm sure he's going to watch this again. He's a lone developer just like Stardew Valley, just like Eric. Uh, well, I can't remember his last name, but man, that guy's a genius. And I hope Jonas all the success with this game because it is fun. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.